Okay, today I'm going to be tying a size 16 by the legs uh, olive betas, blueing olive nymph. So uh, stick around, I'll show you how to tie it. Okay, you're going to start off by putting your size 16 die reiki uh, scud pupa hook. I like the scud pupa hook, it gives a little bend to it. Uh, and I put the, a gold bead on, it could be any color bead you want. And uh, I'm just going to start with our black thread. I typically use a green, but I ran out of green. So I'm just going to be using black. Take that back and uh, cut it off. Next you're going to take some olive uh, goose biots. Uh, you can use turkey or goose. You're going to cut two of them off, two side by side biots off. You're going to take one and you can kind of see the natural curve to the biot. You're going to use that and uh, you want it to tail away from the hook so this goes that way. Uh, you're going to use that to just get separation from the two biots when you tie them in. You're going to eye it up. Probably want it a little bit longer than the, the shank. That looks good. And I'm just going to take it back right to like above where the barb would be. Yeah, so it looks like that. Now you take your other one. Use its natural bend to make it go the other way. Size it up to the biot you already placed in. Secure that down. Make sure they're all good. And then just secure them. A couple wraps. Snip them off. Okay, that's how it should look. Got the two biots uh, in for the tails. Now you're going to take another biot, same color, preferably a a longer one if you could find it. And you got to work with the, these biots, uh, play around with them. But you want to find the the ridge. There's a ridge on the biot. Uh, they're more obvious on a turkey biot. But and uh, but yeah, I like to tie them with the ridge facing down. Just gonna tie the tip in. Take your thread back to those tails. Okay, now take your thread up out of the way, and then I like to take a pair of hackle pliers so I can get a good grip on them. And take some practice to get the biot correct there you can see how the ridge is popping up and gives it a, a rib effect I'm just gonna space them out pretty good evenly a couple wraps should do and then you secure it down. Clip off the biot. Secure everything down. Okay, now you can either take pheasant tail for a more natural look. You would tie in about uh, five, six pheasant tails fibers, and uh, secure them down for the. And then you would fold them over for the wing case. But I'm gonna use some pearl flash. Snip a little piece off, secure it down right behind the bead, and then take it back to the biots. That's the same thing you would do with five or six pheasant tail fibers. Okay, now you're going to take your lively legs, lively legs, and the light olive. They actually just came out with a darker olive color that would work as well. Uh, yeah, these are the size 16, extra small, light olive legs.
take them out. Okay, you see the, the back tab and the front tab. You, the, you can tell the front because the legs are smaller and the, the back has the bigger legs. You're going to take that front tab and place it right behind the bead and just secure it down right behind the bead like this. One or two wraps should do fine. Okay, so it's sticking on there like that. Now you're going to take your thread back, make a couple wraps in between the first and the second set of legs. And then you're going to take all the way back right there behind the second set of legs. I only like to do two or three wraps back there. And, okay. Now, since this is a smaller fly, you're not going to be able to use the, the back set of legs. So you just pull on it, clip it off. Same with the front tab. Pull on it, clip it off. Okay, now your lighty legs are in place. Okay, now you take your dubbing. I am using, here's your uh, plus dark olive. You can use any variation of olive. I'm gonna dub your thread there. I like to dub it pretty thin. You can always add more. You get, I like to get that a real thin little piece of dubbing little layer right behind those, that first set of legs, just a couple wraps and then I like to beef up the middle you don't want it to look ill proportionate, just nice little body not too small, not really big okay, bulk that up a little bit and take your thread in front of the legs and I like to put just a, a smidge of dubbing right in front of those front legs just to cover up some uh, your thread Okay, see how those legs just go right out of the way, I like that. Okay, now you take the pheasant tail or your flash, uh, you tied it earlier, pull that over, right over the dubbing and the legs, tie it off right behind the bead. Now, it's, I, like I said earlier, I use a uh, green thread, I ran out, so you're going to be able to see the thread, but if you use green thread, you wouldn't be able to see it. Okay, two or three wraps, secures that down, snip it off. Okay, one more good securing wrap here. And whip finish and your fly's done. Nice little betis bluing olive. Size 16. Cut your thread off. And uh, there you go. A lively legs uh, betis. Thanks for watching this video.